So guys, the Assassin's Creed Origin series has finally over. Man, it like it was a hectic job for me, like to record, edit, and then upload. Let's just forget about it. It it took me a long time to upload that, but a new journey, a new start. So here we are with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So as Assassin's Creed Origins was based upon ancient Egypt, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is based upon ancient Greece. And trust me, you you're gonna love this thing. It like from the story to the world, everything is so good. So in Odyssey, you'll basically get the experience of what it was like to live in the ancient Greek world. And dude, trust me, the the world, the open world is so nice. The crystal clear blue waters, the rich vegetation, it's it's so good. Like, okay, I won't spoil it much for you, but so Odyssey is like mainly situated in the time period of the Peneplation War. So the Peneplation War is the war between Athens and Sparta. So we will get to experience the both sides of things. Now, without any further ado. Let's get into it. We are ready, my king. Tell me, Vinakis. Have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand right now. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say you, Spartans? For our sons! For our daughters! For Sparta! Alright, playing as Leonidas, the king of Sparta. Dude, like, let me know in the comments who has watched that, that movie 300. That is a sick movie. This madness! Madness. This is Sparta! And like the, the protagonist of that movie is whom we are playing right now. And it's all tied down to this guy. Like you remember the Isus? That that people from the first civilization? Yeah. So he is basically a Isu hybrid. A hybrid between the Isus, the people who came before. Like the Isus basically made us for slave purposes and all that. So like Leonidas, the guy whom we are playing right now, he is basically a hybrid between the Isus and the humans. Okay, 
I, I won't spoil that story for you. But, but yeah, talking about that 300 movie, that was a sick one. You guys should watch it. Like, a must watch. That is, like, the 300 is, like, 300 soldiers defended, like, so much from the Persian army. Okay, so the 300 movie is based upon, like, this, what we are playing right now. Spartans fighting the Xerxes army. Okay. All right, he's done. Betrayed my king. Xerxes knows of the path behind the mountain. They are coming. <laughs> By dawn, he will be completely surrounded. We are Spartans. When are we not? Spartans. That word will mean nothing. When Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of you. Today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Finally. Wow, this is big, Layla. Did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be- Just started, Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. A 
Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since we're last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization if you're up for it. Okay, normal, easy, hard nightmare. I'm just gonna go for normal. Let's take this one step at a time. Understood. If you're looking for something a little more intense, I can always adjust the settings for you later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Okay, endings. guided more. A more traditional experience. Okay, guided mode, exploration mode. Okay, I'm gonna go with guided mode. Give me as much information as you got. There's no way I'm going in there without some guidance. Glad to help. You can always change your mind later. Listen, Layla, before you go off, if this book is right, this fear, this story, it will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Irodotos was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not gonna let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're gonna have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. She'll help us find what we're looking for. I have a good feeling about this. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come! The start of Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't gonna win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it! Oh, and Victoria? Read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Cyclops got a message for you. Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week! Malaka! The Cyclops said you like to act tough, so act tough! Get a little closer, and I will. You should know by now. The Cyclops always collects his debts. You have a lesson to learn. If the Cyclops wants to teach me, tell him to come here himself. Never mess with the Cyclops! Okay, that was easy. Last week? This shit happens every week. I can't keep doing this.
Nah. Thanks for the warning. Ugh. What happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus would bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Cassandra? Maybe you could ask him for me. I'll try to put in a good word for you. Finally. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. What does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. What? A vineyard? Malaka! It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Since when has he had a vineyard? Yesterday, I think. So, Marcos, who owes me drachmi, is buying vineyards. With what money? I don't know. Where can I find Marcus's new, beautiful estate? You know the statue of Zeus on Mount Ainos? It's south of that. Well, I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <coughs> I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. You made a mistake coming here. I'll have to go up top to get okay. dressed. Or do we have here? Okay, that's it. So it begins. That's our main quest. Dude, and let me just like tell you this map is huge. It's gigantic. Alright, let's go. Okay, so you guys might have noticed like there were choices in this game. Well, there are a lot of choices in this game. There are only choices and choices and choices and choices. And also in the main story we have the choices. So like what we choose like on that our Odyssey depends. That's why the name Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So your decisions like your choices will matter. And they will like shape the outcome of your end result. Well, but for that you have to stick to the end. There you are. Let's see what you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. I have completed this game four times just for the sake of getting the good ending. So you might realize the like the seriousness of taking good decisions in this game. And do this game is huge. I like this is the fourth time I'm playing it, but I just don't get bored playing it. Boss, I 
I keep telling you, you, you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together, we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Cassandra, thank the gods. Phoebe found you in time. About grapes. I can still hear you. I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's beside the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine? I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. <laughs> it's that simple, is it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Uh, of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sammy. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sammy, my friend. Who's the merchant? Zuris. You know Zuris. He's very nice. Zuris? Again? Why do you keep lending him money? He's a loyal friend. I don't want his family to starve. You're a good friend, but you're bad with money. Where can I find Zuris? In a shop in Sami, overlooking the docks. You know this, Cassandra. Will he be there? You mistake me for the Pythia. I couldn't possibly know. How do you want to handle this one? Not like you handled that olive oil business. That was... Uh, that was too much. I got the money. And now we'll never get any more from him. If you kill them all, nobody benefits. Threatening them and maybe more. Breaking things, certainly. Steal the money if you have to, but don't rob me of my customers. Unless you can't avoid it. These things happen. He'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will. Oh, after there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine, but I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But... Think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. Tell me about this one. The Skiros. You have an eye for sturdy stock, my friend. That horse can cling to mountain passes like a goat. The one in the middle. Tell me about it. Ah, you have picked a beauty, my friend. That horse is from Thessalonia, bred for its courage. Huh. I like the look of the one on the right. Ah, the Macedonian. These are bred for battle. A true warrior's horse. I've made my choice. Which one will it be? That one. On the right. Ah, uh, a, a fine choice. But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because... I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos. Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, Efterpi. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. Phoebe has been taken. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. 
But don't forget about dear Duris, Cassandra. Mike, I literally asked if she could swim. Come on, Marcos, you can do better than that. Alright, let me get this quest here. You don't look so good. I angered them, I think. The gods. It's possible. Neither. I used to worship Hermes at the Drogorati cave. There are gods there too, you know. In the cave? They grant wishes if you bring them tribute. So everyone makes an offering and asks for something in return. Ah, no wishes of mine granted though. I'm running out of money and tribute. I'm poor myself, you know. I did something wrong. You know Hermes. He can be a trickster. Oh, but there are many gods in this cave. All asking for different things. Go hear him yourself. You'll get my last tribute if you do. I need to know if they're real. All right, don't worry. I'll go. Oh, thank you. Remember, be careful where you step, Mistyos. You'll be walking on holy ground. We'll see about that. All right, time to go. Hungry gods, that's the quest. All right, calling my mount. All right, let's go. Oh, no, 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 don't go. Oh, come on. Ha. <sighs> All right, let's go. Dude, just check out this setting, this environment, I mean. I'll sneak up on the Malikis. I don't know why I like the water so much. The water in game, I mean. Let me go! Shut it! Or I'll tighten those ropes! She'll make good ransom Drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Quiet, Phoebe. The fuck? Okay, so, okay, this is basically like the introduction to everything. Keep me hidden. Not let the rest of those manlikes get away. Time to get Phoebe out of here. Okay. I'm here. Untie me. Yeah, just wait a second. Are you all right? It wasn't so bad. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth so I'd stop biting. Phoebe, just be careful. You're alone now since... Since my parents died? I'm okay. I've got you and you've got me and Marcos. We're your family, right? <coughs> You'll have to be stronger than that. Don't give in. Let him have it. Got you. <laughs> Again, up. Yes, Father. Spartan prizes are soon 
as they have fallen. Ready or stop? Widen your stance. A soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. Good. Uh. Approach me. Ah! That's enough, Nikolaus. The sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> Tonight, we are having baby Alexios. <laughs> and what a feast he will be. No, not him. Take me instead. I'm tasty. Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now, come inside. The lamb's turning black. Here. Lay him in his bed. Yes, Pater. Cassandra. You. Are my greatest pride. Remember that. You will bring this family to glory. Go. too much. <laughs> you don't worry enough. We'll be alright if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. what they say? They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos the mercenary? Am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Here. Talos the Stone Fist has just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that. Okay, you are hunting. Bounty hunters like Talos are hostile mercenaries who will hunt you down as long as you have a bounty. Bounties can usually be paid off. Okay. Mercenaries. Okay. So this is basically the introduction of everything that you have to do in this game. Like the mercenaries, the abilities. Like, yeah, just an introduction to everything. Leveling up. Okay, these are various skills that we can acquire by the ability points. And we get ability points after complete, after like reaching, after like completing a level. Like basically, if, like basically going from level 1 to level 2, like that. Okay, this is the quest section. Alright. Dude, check out this water. Alright, that will be all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.